Hey everyone, I'm Alan Moore, Wild Rift's Game Director. Today we're looking at the four new champs headed to this patch, an update on runes, we're releasing some of the most exciting skin lines so far, and some upgrades to hitting the rift with friends. Welcome everyone to patch 2.3. First up, we have four new champs joining the open beta. Let's take a look. Riven, the Exile, is a versatile melee fighter with a ton of outplay potential. When she was introduced back in 2011, she was originally designed to be like a fighting game character, being able to string together combos with her abilities and basic attacks. When Riven activates her ultimate, her blade becomes fully reforged, empowering her even further. We can't wait to see the big plays you'll make when Riven launches in June. Irelia, the Blade Dancer, is also on the way. Irelia has a host of tools that let her dart from target to target, using her blades to stun, slow and defend in Baron Lane or Mid Lane. Irelia's first ability, Blade Surge, works a little differently in Wild Rift. We noticed during development that dashing to multiple low health minions with precision was not easy to do. So, aiming with Blade Surge will automatically prioritise marks or low health targets and tapping will continue to prioritise champions. This may take some getting used to, so we'll be providing more tips and tricks as we approach Aurelia's launch. I'm thrilled to announce that Lucian the Purifier and Senna the Redeemer will be fighting back the darkness later in the patch. When played together in the duo lane, Lucian and Senna make an intimidating pair. Lucian's quick-fire abilities and attacks are complemented by Senna's slow, powerful shots, and you're able to finish enemies off with their huge ultimates. We join Lucian and Senna in the middle of their fight against the Ruin King to prevent him from corrupting Rune Terror to reclaim his lost love. But his power is growing, so who knows who will fall to Ruination next. In patch 2.3, we're looking at some of the rune choices available in-game and think that a few of them could use some love. One of the biggest changes is that the keystone rune Kleptomancy is being replaced with Phase Rush. After hitting an enemy champion with three attacks or separate abilities, you'll gain movement speed. This is the rune to pick up if you need to relentlessly chase down your target to secure the kill. There are also a few other changes we're making to minor runes to help add some variety to rune setups. Regeneration, Spirit Walker, and Backbone are being replaced with Second Wind, Bone Plating, and Adaptive Carapace, and we're updating Mastermind and Sweet Tooth. You can read the full list of changes in our recent Patch 2.3 dev blog. If you've got a lot of friends on your list, but you have an extra special connection with a few of them, you can now invite your besties to level up together. You can have up to 20 close friends and pick between four different labels. You and your close friends level up by playing together. First, playing in a party and gifting each other strengthens your connection in game, giving you in-game flair and a way to look back on your memories together. Close friends also share their own champion pools in co-op versus AI and normal PvP games. In addition, you can now subscribe to any three friends to receive in-game notifications when they come online or finish a match. The friends you subscribe to will also be displayed on top of your friends list. In just a few days time, the Broken Blades event begins. Pick Aurelia or Riven and complete missions tied to your chosen champion, each with unique rewards. Through this event, you can earn either Aurelia or Riven for free. Hone your skills, sharpen your blades, and seek to mend what once was broken. In July, we'll begin Wild Rift's third ranked season. You've still got a few weeks to get your hands on Jinx, but we wanted to give you a quick preview of what's waiting in gold when season three rolls around in July.
as with every patch, we're still listening to your feedback on some small quality of life features to make your experience a little bit better. We've added a dual 4G Wi-Fi option so that you can use the fastest connection that you have available. Back by popular demand, we've re-added the ability to see details about your connection before heading into a match. There's also a tool for you to diagnose your connectivity in the match that you just played. In Ranked Champ Select, we've added the ability to switch draft order so you can better coordinate on your picks. Also in Ranked, the in-game scoreboard will now automatically be sorted by position. We're turning down the frequency of just how often the in-game announcer talks about turrets. And we've made a bunch of performance improvements, including loading into the game faster and lowering the initial download size by around 300 megabytes. Finally, we'll be hitting up some of your favorite skin themes from League later in the patch, like Pool Party, Battle Academia, and expanding the current arcade offering. Here's a quick look at some of the other skins headed to this patch. That's all from me. Thank you so much for your continued support, and we hope that you're as excited as we are for patch 2.3. We're looking forward to hearing your thoughts and feedback. But we do have one more thing. With Ruination approaching, there have been some For the light. And all lost in darkness. <laughs>